Hey everybody, I'm Alan Watson and I'm here again with another wedding dance tutorial. Now I got this idea for this video when I was teaching a few guys that were really into video games and I needed something that was relatable to them that they could use in real life. So I came up with the top three things that we can learn from Dance Dance Revolution. So the first thing that DDR really helps us with is timing and rhythm. Not only did it tell us where to step down and when to step down, but also told us how good we were at stepping on beat. Now that inherently shows that the beat is longer than just one instantaneous moment. It's something that you can work on and always try to get a little bit better at to make sure you're really sticking that beat. Number two is that the game helped us commit to the movement. Now I say commit to the movement because when you were first learning DDR or you ever tried it, or you even saw somebody trying it, they stood in the middle of the pad and they were just stepping outward and testing the water as to what they needed to do. The people who were better at the game never stood in the center. They made sure that they were using their feet efficiently and pushing their weight forward and back to each arrow so they were committing to the movement. That's something that I think is really, really important for everybody learning to dance. And lastly, knowing all the steps doesn't necessarily make you look good dancing. All the people who are the best dancers at DDR were really worried about the steps, they were focused on their feet, and so you saw their upper body not even be a part of it. They kind of looked like this, except they were sweating profusely while doing it. They didn't really have their upper body connected with their lower body, and they weren't feeling the music, they weren't grooving. So those things were completely lost on them, and they didn't look like they were having a good time, they didn't look like they were dancing. Ultimately, you're there to celebrate and have fun with your friends and family. Practice some moves so you feel more comfortable, and you'll have a great time at your next wedding. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more wedding dance tutorials.